it. Меня зовут Атоми Пурах. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I am Artemy Burak. I am a surgeon and a man cool. It is my first time to deliver lecture like this. So please forgive me and hope that my surgical prowess is a little better and more deft than my chocolate chip. surgeons and doctors of the world. The subject of my lecture is a little unusual and perhaps unbelievable to many of you, but I hope that you will listen and that you will take to heart the lessons that I teach. For I've learned them myself from practice in the field rather than research in a laboratory. Before I start the lecture I would ask you a question. I will ask many questions, but I will start with two. Когда? When the white crow expires, does it fall from the sky? because animals still follow the lines, the lines of earth, the lines of life, the layers of being. Mankind, though, their pursuit of immortality grows ever closer, still has the proclivity to drop dead where they stand, for no reason sometimes, because we have forgotten that we come from the earth, and we have forgotten 
the debt is where you return when we die. It is a mystery, this life. But if you follow the lines, you may yet find the truth. The purpose of this lecture is to demonstrate how we can combine ancient Menhu tradition from the steppes with contemporary scientific method to derive and surmise a panacea to a pathogen. What is a pathogen? A pathogen is identified by science as an organism that causes disease. An organism that causes disease. For example, virus, uh, bacteria, fungus, uh, um, worms, or a protozoa, the single cell. Pathology. Pathology is the study of these organisms that we call pathogens. As I said, the world, everything in it is made up of lines, which we will touch on further in the lecture. Pathogens, by the very nature, the nature of their name, they follow these lines in order to infect. They follow the lines of the body to find the best root to infection. Like water follows the easiest path and it creates the most elegant pathways, but the easiest ones, the path of least resistance. Pathogens study the lines so that they may follow them. The Menkhu studies the lines to understand physiology, to understand how as human animals we are connected to the earth connected to these lines, these paths, these layers. And by understanding the layers, we can understand the disease. The pathologist studies the pathogen, its nature, the type of organism that it is. The Menhu studies its very being, how it fits with the lines that we know exist in the world. And if I still have your attention, well then, it is an unusual practice and not perhaps ratified by contemporary scientists or surgeons. But then, what is the difference? between the surgeon and the butcher. We follow the lines. In this lecture, we will look at the lines, but we will begin by examining the herbs, the fire that we use to brew tinctures. The tinctures we brew help us to identify the layers, the lines. No? We can then adapt the tinctures that we use for diagnosis into treatment. Either antibiotics, painkillers, or simply the ability to boost immunity against a disease pathogen. I can see your faces. You are uncertain. No, that's fine. Condition. No. It works. And there is scientific method. The fire that we manipulate in order to create tinctures is adapted and combined with the antibodies taken from diseased organs. 
From that we create antibiotics, which are used for treatment, and from therefore we develop a panacea. So, three things today. Tinctures and brewing the herbs that fire. And then we have autopsy to harvest the organ that we use to create the brewing or the synthesizing of antibiotics or treatment. No. Tincture, autopsy, treatment. Conclusion. Let me show you something. I have surrendered the name. Here. Please be kind. We have circle. These are the lines that I speak of. The, now, in a human body, but not just in a human body, in any body, in an antibody, we have layers, the three layers. Does anybody know what they are? No. Yes. Yes means uh, roughly it means bone yeah so yes bone then we also have what uh, metrel da? which is the nerves or it is um, yellow if you like I apologize I'll try to write in um, English da? and finally what is the Third layer. Zurk. Da. And that is blood. Mm -hmm. Zurk. The man who studies the lines. How the bone relates to the blood, relates to the nerves. Da. And these are all connected and connected to each of the three layers is a tfer or a herb so we have three herbs we look at today um, because there are more there is um, this black brown and blood fair there is also a white whip swivery or um, ashen swish these are used for brewing advanced versions of each tincture. Tuck. For the purpose of this lecture, we will examine the three core tfer herbs. All these herbs, they, they bloom in um, September. No. This is when they are at their height. This is when it is best to identify and harvest them, to use them. Yes, we blood. Black. Brown. And from here, we see the combination of the herbs and how they interact. Combining blood and fear with brown produces yes tincture. Yes tincture is used to identify and treat the bones. Combine blood fear with black twine, and we'll get metrohal, which is then the tincture used 
to help with the nerves. Da? We finally we combine brown fire with blood fire to pro produce ozurk tincture. Da. So how do we make the tinctures? Do they work? You sound like a colleague of mine asking so many questions. The bachelor, a dandy. We make the tinctures with the herbs, combine them. It's detailed here. So we use bottles. I prepared a bottle for Yas. So we take the Yas bottle and we use water, vada. It has to be potable water, not um, in any way contaminated, pure, clear, drinkable water. We do not use ethanol or alcohol because it lessens the medicinal effect of the herb, but does amplify the hallucinogenic. Talk. Put it there for now. For we also have tincture bottle already for metrel and zook. Yes, blood and brown. Da? Yes. Blood twelve. Yeah, we mix that. and then simply mix it there is no brewing required for the tincture the brewing is required for the antibiotics Talk next what we have mental we have blood in black we still have blood left over so we take the black herb, the black fire, and we 
links. No need to prove, just mix. Done. And finally, we have Zwerg, which is brown and black. I didn't mix this so well. We won't actually be using it, but you get idea. And again, get in the place. Mix. We do not need to brew. That is for the next stage. Administering these tinctures will produce a variety of results. First, we may use this to find out which layer of the person is infected by disease, virus, what have you, the pathogen. The combination of these tinctures will show us as the surgeon and also as yes, the butcher which line we need to cut there will be a pain in the period of diagnosis the tinctures can increase pain and therefore increase the discomfort of the patient and if the patient is in pain that makes it more difficult for us to ascertain precisely which layer, nerves, blood, or bone, are infected. To uh, mitigate this, we must administer painkiller, which we can do, and that will enable us to continue the diagnostic process. Similarly, each tincture on its own disregarding the layer that is infected will act as prophylaxis so it will increase immunity to those who are not infected by pathogen it is not a vaccine 
because it does not use the uh, part of the pathogen against it, the antibodies. It is prophylaxis for it helps to just boost immunity and increase chance that the patient will not get infected by pathogen. It, finally, we would use this to form the basis then of um, the prognosis, which would be the prescription phase where we work out which antibiotic or treatment to use to treat the infected area which would be either bone, blood, or nerves. Is it clear? We use tinctures for prophylaxis, we use tinctures for diagnosis, and we use tinctures for prescription. Now, how does the Menku make an antibiotic? How does the Menku make a painkiller? Well, it's a good question. Please, bring out the body. smoke. I wear military smoke because pathology is war. The lines, the layers, we call it the meat, the meat, it is everywhere. Menku, it transliterates. What can transliterate is butcher or ripper. In my culture, it is taboo to cut the earth or the flesh. But most of it is the same thing. Only the Menku may cut. You are all training to be Menku. Taco. You may cut the light. Any affliction can be cured if we know the layers. The layers of the blood, the bones. We can brew antibiotics from organs to get organs. We must cut them. Do not worry. Ordinarily, I would perform a lateral incision upon patient or cadaver that is in a baby position, fetal position. Here, it is fine. in the field we make two with what we have. Doug always try to avoid the rib cage, but the most it's difficult. You can get everything you need from a good line under the soroplexus in the abdomen. 
<clears throat> we will um, there are four primary five primary organs that are good for harvesting for the antibodies or are particularly perceptible to disease which makes them good for antibiotics which is the kidneys the liver the heart and the brain also blood is an organ but uh, we'll talk about that a bit more we will take blood um, we will harvest today because the brain is a problem difficult we will harvest uh, kidney liver um, uh, heart no heart can be problematic you know don't worry so don't be afraid to get in there Uh, your blade does quick carry multiple scalpels or alternatives right. good Try to look for the best route to the <coughs> organ. Try not to damage the um, organ, otherwise you won't be able to use it. is good. We keep. There are two kidneys, but we only need one. Yeah. Don't get greedy. Not a heart. Because the heart is under the rib cage, we must reach in to get it. Yeah. Yeah.
Ah, you see, it is infected. Beautiful heart. We keep it. Talk. You see. It is difficult. It can give life through surgery, but it can take it too. Please remove the body. Here we have three organs, the liver, it's fine, it's healthy liver, the kidney, it's fine, healthy kidney, no. the heart, Difficult to take. You saw me fight with it. As I said, we could also use the brain, but it's difficult to remove, especially effective, simple. The heart, in order, it is infected. No? To create antibiotic, we must brew the heart. tincture of the infected layer. So, if we have patient who is affected, infected, and we find that they are the bone layer through the use of the tincture tool. No. Yes. We take <coughs> Our yes tincture and we brew with the heart. It could take time to brew. We don't have time right now. That is how we synthesize antibiotic in the field using tinctures. So we use herbal tvar tinctures to diagnose and to apply prophylaxis. Then we adapt the tincture based upon the layer that we know has been infected by following the lines, the bone, the blood or the nerves, and we can create antibiotic by taking infected organ and brewing it with appropriate tincture. Let's say though we don't have infected organ. We have healthy organ like this too. 
Well, we could take Zurk, for example, or any tincture. And we combine that and brew it to create pain relief, like the morphine. Yeah? Zurk in blood, which we extracted, is an organ combined. Pop it back on. And then we have adequate pain relief for future diagnosis and prophylaxis. No? <clears throat> It is not always clear. For pathogen, for pandemic, we must prepare adequately. We must not assume anything. In the field, to apply medical knowledge is practical and good. To know that, we must know the trial, the fear, no? the seasons, the herbs. How to use them. To use them effectively, we must understand the layers and the lines, how everything is connected. That the white crow does not fall from the sky because it knows where to die. The elephant treks to the graveyard because that is where it should be. But man needs to find its place and remember the lines. Then we combine body with earth to treat the symptoms. Because if we follow the lines, we learn that everything is of the earth. We brew <coughs> antibiotics. The antibodies from the infected organ provide everything we need when combined with what is provided by earth. Scientific method combined with tradition Menku medicinal herbology. The combination of spirit and science. I told you I had first hand experience of this. And I was able to develop panacea. No. It was not what I expected. It was excordiant, outlier, beyond tradition, reason, and expertise. Because pathogens follow the path less travel. The pathogen will follow the line to your heart that you did not even know was there. Students, let me leave you with this thought. Our lives are a journey. Though we all travel. We all follow the same. A pathogen is an organism, just like us. Maybe it has dreams, ambitions. Maybe its only ambition is to destroy. But know this. If you follow the line of the path, won't you? Have you? destroy it or it destroys you but it is the only way it can die it's possible I hope that you enjoyed the lecture I apologize for the mess